Hey, this is Ed. I'm the owner of AtticFoil.com. And here's a common question we get from customers. I see some bubble foil and foil fiberglass products advertise that they have an R value of 11. How can a product only a quarter inch thick have an R value of 11? Now, that's a great question. First of all, the old saying, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And let me explain how these products get or claim an R11 and only be a quarter inch thick. First, let's talk a little bit about R value. R value is generally used to measure the amount of conductive heat through a solid. Let me give you some examples of different R values. This foam board has an R value of about 6 per inch. Regular fiberglass insulation, bat insulation has an R value of about 3 or 4 per inch. So common sense tells you that anything a quarter inch is only going to have an R value of about 1. And that's the case with these type products. The actual R value of the product is about 1. Now, one thing to consider is when you start putting products together in an assembly, you get what's called dead air. So if you have two pieces of foam board and you've got a sealed space in between, which is dead air, dead air has an R value of about 1 per inch. So in this situation, you would take the two pieces of foam board and add in an R value of about 1 for 1 inch of dead air. When you see a product advertised and it says it's an R11 and it's only about a quarter inch thick, what you have to do is look at the fine print. Usually, the R11 comes from installing a product like this in either an assembly or a system. And it gets a little tricky, but let me explain exactly how that test is done. What it's done is they take the product and they put it inside a 2x4 wood frame and then they sandwich this with two sheets of three-quarter inch plywood. Now this whole assembly is put into a, uh, an R-value testing uh, apparatus and it measures the heat flow down. So the R11 actually comes from measuring this whole assembly, not just the product. So even if you take this product out, the, the bubble foil or the foil fiberglass insulation, the R-value is still going to be about eight or nine when you combine two sheets of plywood, two, two by four uh, wood framing, and three and a half inches of dead air. So this is how the R11 is actually derived. The problem is that these products are never installed in this way in order to get additional R value. If you're stapling these in the bottom of a rafter in an attic, you have air flowing on both sides of the attic in a ventilated attic. You have no dead air space. So you really don't get any additional R value. All you get is the reflectivity. And if you're looking to install a radiant barrier, that's really all you're looking for is the reflectivity. And that's why attic foil, same reflectivity as these products, but you're going to get superior durability for a fraction of the cost. So if you're looking to install a radiant barrier in your attic, don't spend your money on these. You're not going to get any additional benefit as far as reflectivity. Install the attic foil and you're going to be cool, comfortable, and save a lot of money. For more information on Radiant Barrier, visit AtticFoil.com.